Hello and welcome to WVU Medicine Tuesday Talks. I'm your host, Mary Ravazio Menard. Do you struggle with chronic pain? According to a study published in the Journal of the International Association for the Study of Pain, more than 20% of Americans do. Today, we're going to talk about pain. Whether it's back pain, headaches, or neuropathy, its causes and its treatment, with Dr. Richard Vagalenti, director of the WVU Medicine Center for Integrative Pain Management. Welcome, Dr. Vagalenti, to Tuesday Talks. Thank you. If you have any pain management questions for Dr. Vagalenti, just post it in the comments section below and we'll try to answer it live. Okay, well, this is a topic I think a lot of people are interested in. So let's just start with um, what exactly is the mission of the WVU Medicine Center for Integrative Pain Management? Well, our mission is to uh, expand integrative pain management throughout the state and make sure that the people of West Virginia and our referral area get the best possible pain treatment available. And when I say that, what I mean is our clinic is different than most other clinics. In fact, almost all the clinics within 100 miles of here don't do what we do, which is to have multiple services under one roof so that it's not just the shot clinic, it's not just a medication clinic. We have multiple specialties that we can refer you to, and the very nice part about that is it's all in one building. So we try very hard if you're coming from a distance and you're seeing multiple providers to schedule those in sequence so you can get that all done and then not have to come back multiple times. One trip under one roof. That's always good. Um, now, there's a lot of different kinds of, a, of acute pain and chronic pain. So what conditions do you treat at the Center for Integrative Pain Management? We treat most any painful condition, acute or chronic. Um, we have an inpatient pain service who takes care of patients in the hospital. And then those patients oftentimes follow up in our clinic. And the purpose is to not allow that acute pain problem to transition into a chronic pain problem. And then on the, on the um, uh, chronic pain side, we treat back, neck, uh, neuropathy, headaches, uh, muscle tension, um, just about anything you can think of pain-wise we can treat or we can certainly get you to the right person. Okay, good to know. Um, now the newest pain treatment that you've been offering is HFX for painful, dia painful diabetic neuropathy or it's also called PDN. Um, and this is a pretty common condition. So first tell us about what exactly is PDN. Well, PDN, or painful diabetic neuropathy, as you said, is the most common side effect of or, or symptom of having diabetes. And it ends up that generally the legs and feet are burning and tingling and stabbing and extremely painful. And it's um, very unnerving, uh, no pun intended, mm -hmm. that, that it's, it's just not good. And so it leads to other things. It leads to depression, it leads to poor self-management of your disease, uh, your diabetic control gets out of whack, and so we're hoping that by treating that and making that pain go away, that some of these other things that are spin-offs will get better too. So this, this <coughs> specific treatment, HFX for PDN, what is it and, and how does it work? How does it treat PDN? Well, HFX is under the broad umbrella of spinal cord stimulation. And the HFX company was the first company to market to get FDA approval for the treatment of PDN with spinal cord stimulation. The difference between HFX and all others is that it's high frequency. So HFX means HF10, so it has a frequency of 10,000 cycles per second. Wow. And so the patients don't feel any stimulation, but they get pain relief. Whereas the other stimulators, you feel a tapping or a pounding, and so they're called more tonic stimulation, and it's completely different. It's effective, but it's just a completely different sensation with similar equipment. Wow, now I know you started <coughs> offering this about a year ago. I mean, how's, how's it going? I mean, are you having a, what, what's the success rate? It's very good. Uh, the patients that we've implanted have 
uh, pain relief in the neighborhood of 80%. Wow. And the thing that's really interesting about HFX, <clears throat> excuse me, is that it restores sensation in a lot of people. So not only do you get pain relief, but if your feet were numb, oftentimes it, they'll get better. And some of them get better right away, and some of them get better later. And we think that there are probably two mechanisms for that. But at any rate, you know, to have your pain controlled and to return sensation to the feet is wow. it's, uh, it's monumental. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, that, that, that's life-changing, you know. Um, so um, if anyone watching this thinks this sounds like something, hey, this might work for me, do they need a referral to see you at the Center for Integrative Pain Management? No, they do not. Not only for this, but for any other problem you have. Uh, you can self-refer. You can either call the clinic or the primary WVU medicine um, uh, number. And we even have some services under our roof, like massage therapy and chiropractic, that can be self-scheduled on my chart. So if you want to see those individuals, Without being evaluated by the, the, the uh, provider staff, you can get on my chart and schedule for chiropractic or massage. Okay, and and just the HFX procedure itself, it is it is a surgical procedure or an outpatient outpatient surgical procedure. It's actually two phases. So okay. the first phase is uh, done in the office, where we place two little wires in the spinal canal and we uh, anchor them in so they don't come out, and then we test you for a week with an external stimulating device to see if you, you uh, respond. If you respond, then we take you to the hospital and we do the same procedure of placing the leads, and then we bury a small battery under the skin. It's, it's, this is often um, called pacemaker for pain. So it's the same okay. pacemaker technology. And so the battery's buried under the skin in the hip, in the buttock area where it's, you know, we put it, try to put it where it's not gonna be a problem. And then off you go. These batteries for most of these companies are rechargeable and they have a lifespan of nine plus years. Wow. So you don't have to get the battery changed for nine plus years. I say nine plus because they haven't tested them any farther, but they think they'll go farther. Wow, well that's good to know. Um, well, then what other pain treatments do you offer besides HFX? Well, we have, um, when, when you first get referred and you get your appointment, you'll be seen by a provider and you'll be evaluated, and then a treatment plan will be outlined for you. And that treatment plan may involve some of the providers we have that we mentioned that are ancillary providers. It may involve medication management, not specifically opioids, but other medications or it may uh, involve some procedure, like some injection or some other procedure that we do in an attempt to alleviate your pain. The thing about chronic pain is it's probably um, not um, reasonable that you would expect that we can take care of all your pain all the time if you've had it for a long time. Oh, okay. So if we can get you 50% or more pain relief, we feel that's pretty good, and most patients would agree. Uh, after a while, any relief is good relief. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you are expanding the the clinic. Uh, the the Center for Integrative Pain Management is expanding into to Fairmont. Yes, that's correct. So we've tried to. One of the things that that we were directed. Um, by the School of Medicine and others was to make this exportable. And that means two things. Number one, it means finding providers in various areas that will do what we need them to do to treat these patients. Um, but it also means then, then providing service to areas that are in need. So we have clinics in uh, Waynesburg and we have a telehealth clinic in Somersville. And now we have a clinic at the Fairmont Gateway Connector and shortly thereafter, within the next six to nine months, we'll be doing procedures at Fairmont General Hospital. So if you're coming from the southern part of the state, a lot of those individuals don't like to come into Morgantown. Yeah. And so coming to Fairmont is a big plus, and then having procedures done there is even bigger plus. And, you know, we were talking earlier uh, uh, before we started the show about how much telemedicine has really opened up 
so many pathways uh, to treatment. Can you talk a little bit about how telemedicine has expanded, you know, your, your coverage? Certainly. There weren't many things good that came out of COVID, um, but one of those things was working from home. And so telemedicine is sort of the way medicine can be worked from home. And so that's one of the things that occurred during that time is our telemedicine capabilities and our presence got bigger. Um, that has fallen off a little bit now that people are out and about. They really like to go see their doctor. But uh, for those individuals that are, um, are disabled or have difficulty uh, getting around or don't have a ride, many people in West Virginia either don't have cars, mm -hmm. can't afford gas, need to get someone to take them. We can see you via telemedicine. And we have a very robust uh, electronic medical record that has telemedicine capabilities built within it. So if you have a smartphone or an iPad, we can reach you. Well, and if you're having a pain issue, a long car ride is not something to look forward to either. No, not at all. Okay, great. Um, you were talking earlier um, about the fact that everything's under one roof. I mean, and you know, telemedicine is part of this as well, but it seems like the focus, there's a lot of focus on treating the whole person with different therapies. Um, this, you're not just coming in for a shot. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's, that's the reason that I wanted to have a clinic like this is because, um, you know, injections are useful. I've done thousands of them in my career, um, but they don't, they're not for everyone. And even if you get injections and they work for a time, they may not work after a period of time. And so we have behavioral medicine specialists and um, uh, all these other things that we can then dial you into that may either enhance the injection or uh, replace it if it becomes ineffective. And so, you know, having everything under one roof, unlike others who might want to do the same thing, but if they want you to have physical therapy, they have to send you to one place. If they want you to have uh, behavioral medicine counseling, they have to send you to another place. If they want you to have dietitian services, you know, again, another trip. And that's not how we work. So everything's in one place. Uh, almost all of our services can be done via telemedicine, except, of course, those that require hands-on. And so that's a huge advantage over any other clinic. So if someone is interested in this kind of treatment, where do they start? How do they get an appointment? Well, as we said a little bit earlier, they can call the office at 598-6216 and you'll be routed to the call center and they'll take your information and an appointment will be made. Uh, you can call the 855-WVU-CARES. Uh, if you have my chart and you want some of these ancillary services, all you have to do is go into self-scheduling. Um, it's really, it's very simple. We eliminated the need for referrals three or four years ago and it's been very helpful. And that's the other difference between us and other clinics. Many of these other specialty clinics will only see you by referral. And so then you have to see your primary care or some other physician. You have to convince them you need a referral. You don't have to do any of that for us. Wow, that cuts out a lot of red tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once you make an appointment, what, what can somebody expect at their first visit to the clinic? Well, the first visit is going to be scheduled with one of our providers, most likely one of the physicians. Mm -hmm. And so the physician will evaluate you, will take a history, will look at any past medical records you might have if they're, if they're relevant, and then discuss with you a treatment plan that we have available um, that we can implement. And then that generally after that, uh, scheduling is done on your way out. So, for example, if I, you see me for back pain and I think a certain injection might help you, I write that order in the exam room. That order immediately is transferred to the front desk. And when you go out, you're scheduled for your shot before you ever get in the car. Wow. That's efficient. We like efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Everybody does. So, do you have to have insurance to be treated at the, uh, the center for integrative pain management? No, not specifically. We have the same policies that the WVU Health System has, and we take all comers. Uh, the system has 
wide array of support services on the financial side, financial counseling, um, financial assistance, uh, so heavy discounts on cash payments. So, you know, the, we understand as WVU Medicine our role to take care of all comers, everyone in the state in our referral area, um, the door is always open. Well, that's good to know too. So why should people seek treatment at the WVU Center for Integrative Pain Management as opposed to going somewhere else? Well, I think primarily the broad array of services we have um, as opposed to some other places. Um, but primarily I would say uh, not to suffer in silence. Yeah. If, if you have some chronic pain problem, um, you know, you should at least let someone take a look at you and see if anything can be done. Uh, of course, with the opioid crisis that was around several years ago, uh, there's still a lot of stigma. There's still a lot of control over opioids, but we can write opioids if we feel they're indicated. We manage them very tightly, uh, a very controlled system, and we try to do it as safely as possible if we think that's right for you. Okay. So, um, what's the most, and then what's the most important thing you want people to know about the WVU Center for Integrative Pain Management? Uh, one-stop shop and uh, don't think that you can't be helped. Don't suffer in silence. Right. There's probably a lot, do you think there's a lot of people out there suffering in silence? I think so. Well, let's, like, we're going to do something to fix that, right? right. <laughs> well, Dr. Vagalenti, thank you so much for joining us today. This was a lot of good information and um, I'm hoping it will help a lot of people with their pain. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that brings us to the end of this edition of Tuesday Talks. If you're looking for more information on pain management, you can always visit wvumedicine.org slash pain. And join us on Tuesday Talks on February 14th when we'll talk about World Donor Day with Transplant Coordinator Brian Bird of the WVU Medicine Transplant Alliance. I'm Mary Ravazio Menard, and on behalf of Dr. Vagalenti and everyone at WVU Medicine, thanks for joining us and have a great day.